Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and today is July 12th, 2024 and before we jump into things here as per usual I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a TCG player affiliate link and any purchase that you make using those links I get a small bonus from it and it really helps support the channel. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis so thank you all very much. With that being said, Let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Marsh Flats from Modern Horizons 2. This fetch land is down 7.45% from $18.39 to $17.02 for its market price, and its average price is $18.90. Ursa's Incubator from Dominaria Remastered. This artifact is down 7.46% from $26.82 to $24.82 for its market price, and its average price is $26.82. Flooded Strand, and this is the borderless version of this fetch land from Modern Horizons 3. It's down 8.82% from $15.98 to $14.57 for its market price, and its average price is $17.24. Flare of Denial, and this is the borderless copy from Modern Horizons 3. It's down 9% today from $13.68 to $12.45 for its market price, and its average price is $16.56. Solitude from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is down 9.47% from $23.02 to $20.84 for its market price, and its average price is $23.22. A Johnny Nakatl Pariah, and this is the borderless copy from Modern Horizons 3. It is down 9.81% from $22.53 to $20.32 for its market price, and its average price is $24.88. Reckless Endeavor, and this is the extended art copy from Commander Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. It's down 12% today from $12.26 to $10.79 for its market price, and its average price is $12.98. Nether Goy from Modern Horizons 3. This card is down 13.70% from $11.97 to $10.33 for its market price, and its average price is $15.58. Commercial District from Murders at Karlov Manor. This land is down 13.90% from $10.43 to $8.98 for its market price, and its average price is $10.43. Pyretic Ritual from Magic 2011. This common card is down 14.03% from $9.62 to $8.27 for its market price, and its average price is $7.93. Cover of Darkness, and this is the extended art copy from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed. It's down 19.87% from $5.94 to $4.76 for its market price, and its average price is $6.14. Guide of Souls from Modern Horizons 3. This card is down 34.49% from $3.45 to $2.26 for its market price, and its average price is $3.75. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Tree of Perdition from Jumpstart 2022. This card is up 10.46% from $20.08 to $22.18 for its market price, and its average price is $32.84. And the original pre-release copy is sitting at $20.46 for its market price, and its average price is $41.98. And the original Eldritch Moon copy is sitting at $20.36 for its market price, and its average price is $22. This card is being played a ton in the Pioneer format right now in decks like Rakdos Aggro, Rakdos Midrange, and even some newer commanders like Ezio Auditori the Frenzy from Assassin's Creed. Next winner on our list is Soul Spike from Cold Snap. This card is up 13.51% from $49.22 to $55.87 for its market price, and its average price is $120. And this is a great way to get rid of Nadu and Modern. In fact, it's being played in a ton of decks in the Modern format, in decks like Mono Black Midrange, Mono Black Scam, Demir Scam, as well as Rakdos Burn. And the next winner on our list is Ezio Auditori de Firenze from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed. This legendary creature is up 21.11% from $16.25 to $19.68 for its market price, and its average price is 
and the showcase copy sitting at $30.81 for its market price and its average price is $32 and the foil edge copy sitting at $22 for its average price, and the textured showcase foil is sitting at $132 for its average price, and this card is being played a ton in the commander format as a commander itself. Next winner on our list is Rooftop Bypass from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed. This card is up 23.22% from $5.47 to $6.74 for its market price, and its average price is $7.10. And this card is seeing some play in the Commander format and commanders like Edward Kenway, as well as Ezio Auditori de Frenzy, both of which are from Assassin's Creed. Next up here is Mari the Killing Quill, another assassin card, this time from Commander's Treats of New Capenna. It's up 27.64% from $4.45 to $5.68 for its market price, and its average price is $4.50. And the extended art copy from Streets of New Capenna is sitting at $5.22 for its market price, and its average price is $4.82. And the Outlaws of Thunder Junction copy is sitting at $5.03 for its market price and its average price is $10. And this card is also seeing play in one of the most popular Assassin's Commanders currently at the moment, Ezio Auditori da Firenze. The next winner on our list is Seeds of Innocence from Mirage, and this reserve list card is up 33.52% from $5.31 to $7.09 for its market price and its average price is $12.47. And this card actually is seeing some legacy play in decks like Blue Zenith, Teamer Cascade, Beanstalk Control, as well as Saltai Depths. And our final winner here is another Assassin's card, Olivia Opulent Outlaw from Commander Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This card is up 81.92% from $8.13 to $14.79 for its market price, and its average price is $24. And this card is also seeing some play in the commander format and some new commanders like Edward Kenway, as well as Ezio Auditori de Firenze. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Lifelink from Magic 2010. This foil is up 31.46% from $7.47 to $9.82 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.15. Valor from Judgment. This old frame foil is up 31.74% from $4.60 to $6.06 .06 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.94. Sky Shroud Behemoth from Nemesis, another old frame foil up 34.10% from $5.25 to $7.04 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.96. Alter Ibn Lahad from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed, this foil is up 34.40% from $5.96 to $8 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.75. Fling from Magic 2012, this foil is up 37.09% from $3.02 to $4.14 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.27. Olivia Opulent Outlaw from Commander Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the foil version of this card is up 50% today from $6.56 to $9.84 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.95. Next up here is Alexios. Deimos of Cosmos, and this is the foil edge copy from Assassin's Creed, up 58.64% from $1.91 to $3.03 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.90. Next foil here is Nantuko Monastery from Judgment, and it's up 64.69% from $3.03 to $5 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.51. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cars you're most surprised to see on the list, and which cars you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave. So please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday. So I will be back on Monday for the regular Market Mover series. So I'll see you then. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care.
being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.